One question. If you're not getting muddy, are you really herping? That's all I want to know. Rhymes keep pounding a rhythm to the brain. I just hanging out on a trip to Southeast. Haven't even hit the place we're gonna camp, but check out the scenery. Wow, and check out this, gopher snake. And, and man, nice and cloudy today where we are. We have the prettiest gopher snakes. Look at that, how it changes color. And I know this is pretty common, but wow, those are pretty. Come on, man, good start to this adventure all right make some of those paths dirt you're camping out you know you're roughing it that's how we roll man i mean you know sometimes and sometimes here's the deal sometimes you got to get an airbnb okay sometimes you got to do that you know i mean i've been roughing it for a long time so get off my back jack so we're gonna stay here for a little bit and uh yeah man we'll get back to roughing it i promise you'll see you'll see Man, we've seen like three snakes inside of, I don't know, 10 minutes, man. These guys are insanely dangerous. Like if you come up on them, they will just, they'll get up into that S position and they'll start to strike at you. Hey, if you see somebody on, on their channel and they do this, except for Angry Aatrox, because he, that's his whole channel, Angry. He makes them angry. But I'm telling you, man, you don't really have to get them all tweaked out. Pretty, uh diamond back though all right so we just saw a diamond wow this is red right pink it's a really pretty one yeah it is really wow pretty. i'm gonna get my camera i'm taking a photo of that that's really pretty right about to go cruising but can't do it until we make sure these are ready to rock these are phoenix pd 36r flashlights trust me get one of these love them had them for about a couple years now but let's go see how many snakes we find and you'll see that these are the bomb all right, check it out. Got a green rat snake. Couldn't have done it without that Phoenix flashlight, man. That's what's shining on it right now. F-E-N-I-X flashlight. And you will find green rats. This is a sub-adult. It's got some pattern left. And uh, it'll lose that and turn into a real olive green. Put it about, I don't know, maybe a foot and a half long. Maybe a foot long. I don't know. But yeah, awesome. First snake of the night. Dude, you get this is your first snake of the night. You're doing you're doing good. All right, got a young of the year night snake doing its defensive posture. Couldn't have found this without the Phoenix PD36R flashlight. Just saying, but what a cool little snake. It is almost September, and that's why we're seeing this. So we'll let him get back to crawling across the road. Couldn't have found this without this, which is the PD36R Phoenix flashlight. And I think what we have, if I had to guess, yep, is it a diamondback? It is a diamondback. You're not gonna believe this. I don't believe it. Man, this is crazy. This never happens to us ever, 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 ever. We hear our friend Eric say this all the time. Yeah. So the deal is, is you look out by park, you look out the window. He's just sitting on a tree. Right there. Climbing. He's climbing the tree. Nicholas gets out and goes, hey, no way. And I run around and there he is. Arizona Mountain King, unbelievable, man. We've seen a couple this year, but dang, son. That's pretty awesome. That's awesome, awesome, man. Found a green rat earlier. Whew. Man, you find a vine and everything goes right for you. Here's a wild deal. So we let the Mountain King go back where we found it on the tree, and it goes up this tree. And at the very top of this tree, which is pretty high up, it had a dead branch. And it was headed towards that dead branch, which had a bunch of bark around it. Well, the next thing we know, there's a mouse coming down that branch on top of the king snake. And we're like, holy mackerel. Well, the king snake keeps going up and gets inside the bark up on that branch. Yeah, baby mice up there. So this thing knew that there were mice up there and that's where it was headed. So I guess that's a reason to let things go where you find them, man. Cool experience, though. 
Hopefully you're watching Smith Logic videos. <laughs> What's up, my man? What is up? Good to see you, I, brother. I can't say I was expecting <laughs> the great Smet Logic. There you go, <laughs> my man. How you doing? I'm doing fantastic. One of the reasons I like herping. Always got a surprise somewhere. That was so cool to run into Saunders, good friend of mine. Been a long time since we'd seen each other. I'll put links to his social stuff down in the scooby doo down there. But yeah, check him out. He's a good dude. Yes. Oh man, that is a black tail. And they make them pretty here. He was sitting right here. He's gonna get his butt kicked, but we saved him. All right. Cruising in the morning. And we got, it looks like a big, big diamond back right in the middle of the road. And they're red here. Oh, wow, that's pretty. Wow, man, that is pretty. Oh, this is insane. Wow, that's a pretty diamond back. Whew. I'm gonna put this guy at two, three feet. No, three feet for sure. It's gonna be a tough one to get off. Thick, wow. Like that is a big rattlesnake. Crazy. I know you don't want to move, but man, dude, if we don't get you off the road. Gosh, that is a pretty rattlesnake. Well, here you go, Todd, from the Angry Atrox Roundup Rodeo. This is just awesome looking. We got a gopher snake. Hang on, dude. Yeah, he's a big one. We don't want to hassle them too much. Well, they always get defensive, huh? Isn't he pretty? Look at that. It's a gorgeous snake. Man. Wow. Pretty. Go get him, buddy. He's going, man, it's going to rain again. Yeah, he scooted in. Isn't that cool? I'm telling you, man, these things, gold. So this one's about the size of my hand, but just super glued a hair tie. So my wife was wondering where her hair tie went. Here's where it went. But this is worth it, honey, trust me. Because when we find a venomous snake that's not endangered or protected, we can put the venomous snake underneath this and take a hook. And so your hair tie went to a good cause, plus your flower pot thing. You know what I couldn't have done is without my Phoenix PD-36R, I couldn't have found this. Because it not only lights things up, it's kind of like a snake magnet, like you point this and this thing goes like this and it'll, <clears throat> you see what I'm saying? You know the drill. Careful where you step when you get out of the car, by the way. Got another little diamond back. It's that season, man. It's that season, so. Again, filming with the, you know, with the, PD-36R Phoenix flashlight. So we'll scoot this guy off the road, see what else we can find. Or he'll scoot himself off. All right, got a gopher snake. And uh, I couldn't have done it without, that's right, Phoenix PD-36R flashlight. Get one and you'll find all kinds of snakes. So we're gonna let this gopher just go for what it was going for. And have a good night. We thought it was a green rat, but it's looking kind of brown. Watch where you step when you get out, right? If you're on the passenger side, man. I'm just saying. What do we got? Long nose. Oh, man. They're going to ask us if we're okay. It is. Who is it? Whatever, dude. What do you say? I have no idea. I don't know. He didn't want to help us. He saw the snake and he was like, peace out. So I hate doing this to people, but this last guy had his brights on and he wouldn't shut him off. And you know, you can't do that to me, dude. And not expect to pay for it. I mean, I was being nice, right? I think I was. I thought I was, I don't know. Well, anyway, 
guess you make the tail go a little bit like this. Yeah, looks good. Sorry about that, but you gotta, you gotta take your brights off, bro. Can't do that to me. I think we got another snake. We thought we were done for the night, but you know herping. That's not how it works. I'm gonna say that's a diamond back. So we're gonna approach it from the left side. Try not to get too many shadows going. He's got us at this point. So we're gonna chase him. We're chasing him. They say that <clears throat> rattlesnakes chase you. They don't. Yeah, he does have a red tail. We just chased a rattlesnake. I bet that's never happened before. All right, you know what the deal is, man. Finish a herb trip with some of this watermelon agua fresca and quesabrias. Man, these things are unbelievable. Hey, congrats for making it this far in the video. Most people click off and the herps are done. You know how that goes, but not you because you're smart. You know there's always something at the end of my videos. And I just want to say one more time, that flashlight in the video, and I know you're going like, bro, we get it. Stop with the flashlight already. But I'm telling you, during herping season, I'm out almost every night hiking, three to four hours with that flashlight. This thing has good battery life. It's rechargeable, so I'm not eating through the batteries. It's small and it fits in my hand, but it'll really light things up on the highest setting when I need it. I like this flashlight so much, I'm gonna give one away. It's a $100 brand new Phoenix PD36R flashlight for free, and here's how you can win it. So I will post a link in the description of this video that you're watching right now on Sunday, January 8th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So come back to this video on January 8th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Look at the top of the description. You know the description in this video. Look at the top. It'll be easy. You'll see it. It'll make sense. The link's going to take you to an unlisted video with the instructions on how to win the flashlight. Going to be simple. Not going to make this complicated. Unfortunately, you're not eligible to win the flashlight if you've already won something from my channel in the past three years where you live outside the United States or Canada. Good luck. Go get that flashlight. Same deal. Couldn't have found this uh, diamond back without my Phoenix PD36R flashlight.